So my name is Neil Davidson, I'm the design director for Clandestine Design Group. We're an industrial design consultancy based in Brisbane. Uh, we service clients predominantly in the Asia Pacific region. I guess one client in particular and a, a favourite one of ours is Ordera. Uh, I do a lot of mentoring and um, I look after, I guess, uh, design, education and, and, and in terms of entrepreneurial uh, incubators around um, Brisbane and through that network got uh, introduced to James and Chris. I got pretty excited to look at the opportunity of helping them because there's not many hardware startups in, in um, South East Queensland or Australia in general and to have a really unique um, technology offering uh, and associated value proposition is, is, is kind of exciting to work on. So. <music> In terms of, I guess, the broader picture of what we do here, um, we work for anyone from mum and dad inventors, uh, not just you know startups to large corporates. Um, we work uh, both in terms of traditional industrial design, so that's you know the packaging of, of technology and the humanising of technology um, for mass manufactured goods and products. But we also work in a customer experience design consulting role, so we help uh, large corporates reconnect with their customers and, and work at how they can improve their service offering or their business model. Odira's got, um, you know, I, I, I guess I get excited in a couple of different ways. It's, it's, it's a disruptor to a, to a pretty traditional market. You know, you think of uh, high-end um, appliance design, which I guess, uh, you know, sound equipment and particularly headphones is. Um, the, the fundamental technology and value proposition of those uh, competitors or traditional players in the market are, have always been playing by adjusting, um, you know, iterative features and functions. It's about the next generation speaker, or it's the you know the better acoustic qualities, or the better battery quality, or or lifespan. Um, there's minor adjustments around form and function and and um, and ergonomics. But Audira is coming into the market with a truly disruptive and game-changing core technology. Having used and tested the beta prototypes of this product, it, it was an amazing experience and, and I really look forward to having, um, I guess, the product in its commercial form for me to use every day, but also, I guess, facilitating um, that product to the, the greater consumer base. And, and I, yeah. I guess, it, you know, I always enjoy design challenges that have constraints. I think it's the challenge of working with existing manufacturers and and, 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 you, and sort of referencing their expertise, but then bringing our own flavour over the top in terms of design aesthetics and, and, and trying to develop that unique Odira language for this particular um, A01 platform. You know, the, fundamentally the culture is driven by honour and respect, and that uh, goes a long way for sorting. If you can if you can tap into that and understand it and harness it and um, actually show them the respect and honour they deserve, then suddenly you'll get treated amazingly well. For clients that have made the effort, i.e. Adira have definitely made the effort, they have a much greater connection and it's an amazing place and amazing people and, um, and a very exciting uh, space to be in. So, Absol Absolutely. They're a young team, they're dynamic, um, they're passionate, um, they're kind of, uh, they're not stale in how they approach um, business and they're quite happy to um, just have a crack and um, not really accept failure.